brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. I'm your host, Jalen Rose. The Indiana Pacers are readying themselves for an Eastern Conference showdown against the Miami Heat. Our commentary team of Mike Green and Jeff Van Gundy are set to call the up. Welcome to Miami, Florida and the American Airlines Arena. It's a Memorial Day special here on ESPN as we get set for the Miami Heat looking for the win tonight at home against the visiting Indiana Pacers. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. Hi again everyone with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand set to call the action tonight. As this one gets underway, what's the game plan here for the Heat? When you're planning to play against Roy Hibbert, you've got to do one thing, and that is you've got to meet him early and drive him off the low post. You have to do your work early around the free throw area so he cannot set up camp in the paint and post deep. Because if he has two feet in the paint when he catches the ball, lights are out, the story is over, he's going to finish because he's got a good skill up. You got to drive him out of the paint and see if he can make a 10 to 12 foot jump shot. West for two, hits the shot. To Wade. Forced to make the pass. And Dwayne Wade with the jumper for three. Give me good offense over good defense any day of the week. Well defended possession, but better offense. To Hibbert. George falling away, puts it out, gets it to go. That's good defense, better offense, a nice contested two point shot. To Wade. Goes for the three-pointer. The Heat with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. He steps out of bounds. And it's a backcourt violation called against the Heat. Hibbert, oh, he reached in and they saw it. It's called against Chalmers. up has to make that pass puts it in that's a long two-pointer and sometimes being too open makes it harder to make right there wasn't the case no hesitation easy two-point jump shot Chalmers able to put it in you need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure that was a well defended possession but that man stuck it even against the best defense Strong finish at the rim. Let's have another look at that play. Chalmers into the front court. To Wade. There's the double team. Wide open for three. Hibbert the rebound. That's solid offense. Getting their best players their best shots in their best spots. It didn't go in, but that's how you win games. Swatted away by James. Nicely executed. Look at that release of that layup. Up and over the outstretched hand and the shot blocker. Beautiful touch. Let's face it, patience is not at a high premium in the NBA. The fans with management, so it's pretty much you better produce now or you're in trouble. Eric Spolster was the guy when LeBron James first came over, there was talk that whole first season. This guy's not going to be able to handle this team. They should replace him. They should fire him. And now look, now he's won two championships, three straight finals. And without question, he's shown he's one of the premier coaches in all of basketball. Yeah, and, and listen, the coach has already knew how good he was in this league. And I think the players that he coached knew how good he was. But this is the difference between organizations. When they didn't get the result they wanted against Dallas in the playoffs, lesser organizations would have come out and the sources close to the organization saying they were disappointed in their coach or outright blaming him by firing him. This is why Miami, led by Mickey Harrison and Pat Riley, are so good. 
they stay the course. They weren't firing Eric Spolstra. If he had lost him next year, they weren't firing Eric Spolstra. They knew what they had. They knew how good he was. They weren't going to be dictated to by the media and by a fan base. They knew what he had. Indiana bringing it up here. To Chalmers. The alley-oop, he throws it down. To George. Puts it down. Double team closing in. Tied up and has to pass. Chalmers from outside, a three pointer. Paul George with the ball, now bringing it up. And it's a turnover. Wade fires, gets it to go. You don't want to make a living taking contested two-point jump shot, but here it worked out because of superior concentration. To George, looking for low post position. Goes to the goal, good touch inside. Uh, that's one of the things we learned early on in our basketball lives. Easy layup, put it in right off the back. They double him. James against George. Oh, he gets the steal. the foul. I need to see that one again. Here's the replay. And it's on to the free throw line. One shot to complete the three-point play. Are you kidding me? You're allowing guys to dunk it in your face and you're just touch fouling them? You can't let that guy get his hands above his shoulders. You've got to prevent the basket at all costs. George fires away for two. Fires for three from the corner. Good rebound. Held off nicely by West. And Mario Chalmers, it's whistled for the foul. He tried to reach in. And looks like both teams are making substitutions. There's a turnover. First quarter comes to an end. The score is tied. Stay with us. More Memorial Day basketball after the break. <laughs> 